This is Chris with the original Tractor Cab. Today we're installing cab number 20260 to fit the Boss Snow Raider. Let's begin. We'll start by removing the seat cushion from the vehicle. Then we'll use a 3 8 wrench and a 7 16 socket to remove the nut and bolt from this location and this location. Next, we'll place two quarter inch flat washers onto two quarter by one inch bolts and we'll feed them outward through the holes where we just removed the hardware. Then we'll place the front mount onto the bolts and add two quarter inch Whizlock nuts. Make sure to feed the mount behind the hoses in the center of the vehicle. Go ahead and start the nut finger tight and place the other one. And once you have them started, go ahead and tighten it all the way down. Next, we'll install the right hand rear mount. We'll start by removing the nut and bolts here and there using a half inch socket. Then we'll place two 5 16 by one and three quarter bolts out through the holes where we just removed the hardware. Then we'll place the right hand rear mount onto the bolts. Then we'll add two 5 16 whiz locks, but just put them on finger tight, do not fully tighten. Then repeat for the left hand side. I removed the battery and the battery box for ease of installation in the video, but you are not required to remove it for installation of the cab. Now we'll install the side frames. We'll start by placing a quarter by inch and a quarter bolt through the hole in the frame. Then we'll add a quarter inch nylock nut. Then we'll go ahead and fully tighten the nut and bolt. Once that nut and bolt are installed, we'll place the side frame into the receivers. Then we'll tighten the bolts left loose from the previous step and repeat for the left hand side. Next, we'll install the right hand rear post. We'll start by placing a quarter by five eighths bolt through the post. Then we'll place it through the back of the side frame Add a nylock nut, and then we'll tighten this just enough to keep it upright. Then repeat for the left hand side. Next, we'll install the right hand curved sidebar and a bent tab crossbar. We'll place a quarter by three quarter bolt through the bent tab crossbar, then go through the hole in the side frame. Then we'll take our curved side frame, place it onto the bolt, and add a nylock nut. Then install the left hand side. Once they're installed, go ahead and tighten the nut and bolt to keep the post upright.
Next, we'll install a straight tab crossbar and the two short connecting bars. We'll start by placing a quarter by three quarter bolt down through the hole in the crossbar. Go into the rear post. Then add the short connecting rod and add a nylock nut. Then do the same thing for the other side. Now we'll install the other bent tab crossbar. Start by placing a quarter by three quarter inch bolt through the tab on the crossbar. Then through the slot in the curved sidebar. Then the short connecting bar. And add a nylock nut. Then repeat for the other side. Next, we'll install our other straight tab crossbar. We'll start by placing a quarter by five eighths bolt through the tab of the crossbar. Then you'll place the bolt down through the tab in the side curved bar, and then add a nylock nut. Then you'll do the same for the other side. Once you have those started, you'll go ahead and tighten all the bolts left loose previously and square up the frame. Once the frame is tightened, your crossbar at the front of the cab will be bent downward like this. And then your posts up here will level out like that. For this next step, we'll install all of the foam padding. Now we'll install our front light cover. So place it over the foam at the front and go ahead and wrap the Velcro around. Then close these Velcro flaps underneath the covers. place the light covers over the lights. This is what it will look like when the light covers are in place. Next, we'll place the cab shell onto the frame and then close the Velcro flaps over the bars.
This is what it will look like when the Velcro is fully installed. Finally, we'll install our left-hand cab skirt. We'll start by raising this flap, and then attaching the Velcro. Then you'll take the flap from the front of the cab shell and attach it to the Velcro here at the side. And once that's connected, we'll attach the springs from the bottom of the cab skirt to wherever they will attach. Then repeat for the right hand side. And that's the installation of our cab number 20260 for the Boss Snow Raider. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Once again, this is Chris with the original Tractor Cab. Have a good day.